This is a more detailed video to go along with the one I just did about the Comptometer Model F. If you didn't watch that one yet, you might want to click over there and check it out. I want to talk about multiplying and dividing with a Comptometer. Really this method works on any similar devices like the Burroughs calculator or various other key-driven machines. Multiplication is pretty easy and intuitive. It's really easy if you're multiplying by a single digit like 7 times 4,231. You just type the big number seven times. Now with more digits, it's a bit more interesting. Let's do 35 times 482. On paper, this looks like this. You do three products and add them all together at the bottom, offsetting the digits as appropriate. At the bottom, this first number is 35 times 2, and the next one, one digit to the left, is 35 times 8, and then the last one is 35 times 4. So on the machine, I'm going to do each of those three products. First, 35 times 2, then move over one digit and do 35 times 8, then move over another digit and do 35 times 4. Back in the day, the Comptometer company ran training schools for Comptometer operators. Here's a quote from one of those manuals. Careful attention should be given to the development of skill in moving from one column to another without breaking the rhythm. That book has some practice tests in it. I took the first multiplication test to see how I do. There's 24 multiplications that you're supposed to do in four minutes. I got 16 right, which just barely puts me in the fair category. I'll put a PDF of this file down in the description so you can check it out. Now let's talk about division, which is quite a bit more complicated. First, actually, let's talk about subtraction. You subtract using the little numbers, which are called co-digits in the Comptometer manuals. You always have to remember that when you subtract, you use the co-digits for the number one less than what you're subtracting. So to do 500 minus 444, I enter 500 first on the big numbers, and then I do co-digits for 443. The answer is 56. Now I got an extra one here which carried over when I did the co-digits. This always happens when you subtract, but these extra carries are actually built into the division procedure. So let's try to do division. 15,632 divided by 85. So we do this by entering the big number first. I'm going to enter 15632 on the left side of the machine, which will let me compute as many decimal digits as possible as we go out to the right. First of all, just by the number of digits in my two numbers, we know the answer will have three digits to the left of the decimal point. So I put the decimal point indicator here three digits to the left and lots of decimal digits on the right. I'm going to be subtracting 85, so I put my fingers on the co-digits for 84 as far to the left as possible. Now just like in long division, you look at groups of digits down here and your goal is to subtract 85 over and over until you can't subtract anymore. Now the first two digits down here is 15, which is smaller than 85, so I can't subtract any and I move over. Now I see 156 Here's where it gets a little weird. The digit to the left of my two fingers, the 1, will tell me how many times to subtract in this step. I see 1, so I subtract 1 time. Now you look to make sure the remainder below is less than your divisor. Here you only look at those two digits, which are 71. That is less than 85, so I move over. Now the digit immediately to the left is a 7, so I'm going to subtract 7 times. Actually, while I was doing it, the digit turned to an 8, so actually I subtract 8 times. You keep on subtracting until the number of times you subtracted equals the number immediately to the left. Again, you check to see the remainder down there is less than 85. It is, so I move to the right. Now I subtract 3 times, move over, now 7 times, actually 8. Actually, I'm going to do one more because the remainder right now is 90, which is more than 85. Now I move over, I see 0, so I don't do anything in this digit. Now I move over, I see 5, so I subtract 5 times. Now I'm at the end of the board, but I can still do one more position, just letting one of my hands off the keys. I subtract 7 times, actually 8. And this is my answer. Now since I went off the end, that last digit may not be correct. But the best I can say is 183.9058. That is the right answer, though I hope you won't mind me saying it's a crazy method. 
I'm a mathematician, so naturally I want to know why this works. Here's what this official book has to say about it. Do not worry about why the above process brings the answer. Consider it simply an arbitrary rule by which any and all examples in division can be computed on the computometer. Once learned, the method is so simple that it cannot be forgotten. Well, I just made this video and I've already forgotten it. Thank you.